Hey guys, what's going on? Carolina Risotto here. Today I decided to go get a coronavirus test because the LA County finally allowed people with and without symptoms to go get tested. My sister and I were gonna head there together. We think it's important to do this to help with government data and also to make sure, you know, that we're clean. According to the government website, you should book an appointment online before going. They're gonna ask you if you have or have not had symptoms. You're gonna put your contact information and then they're gonna give you a few options of different locations that you can go get tested. Make sure to check the zip code to see if it's near you and take it from there. We were able to book an appointment for the next day, but I'm pretty sure that varies depending on the location. We're gonna head to Westwood to the VA parking lot number 15. I chose this location in Westwood because it's a drive through situation, so I don't have to get out of the car to get tested. I really don't know how things go on exactly, so we're gonna learn about it today, but it's supposed to be a process that avoids contamination. They also say that you cannot have eaten or drinked or even chewed gum in the last hour so you can get tested. So quick checklist here before we go, book an appointment, do not eat or drink anything at least an hour before your appointment, arrive on time, and let's go. Give this video a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would really appreciate all your support. There is oh. no way. That's the line. No, I'm not Pseudo. Oh my god, I think it might be Carol. To turn <gasps> right? Yeah. This is the line to turn right. What? So you you either go to the back of the line or you're gonna have to be the douche that cuts it. Oh can't be the douche! The uh -huh. This is where we're going. Wow. Wow. Nuts. We're gonna be here for a really long time. Oh man. To doom. And here's the line. I can't even tell you how long we're gonna be here for, but I put it in park. <laughs> we're just gonna chill for a while now. I might, I might get out of the car, and get some footage of the line. Okay, I left my car right there. Laura's on the wheel, so I got out so I could show you guys a little bit of the line. And now everybody turns right here on Constitution Avenue, and it continues. But I don't really know what happens here. Oh my God, there's. There's more, the line keeps going. Okay, we're going through the tunnel because I want to make it to the end, see how far this line goes. Still more cars, definitely more than 40 like I had estimated. The line continues from there. This whole line right here is just to get into the parking lot. Hey guys, it was quite the walk. There's about 60 to 70 cars for sure ahead of us, but people seem pretty patient. Laura, uh, how long has it been? Oh, 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 we're moving, wait. <sighs> Carolina was filming, so I just did vocal exercise as well on the wheel. <laughs> Doesn't seem like a bad day, I guess. It could be worse. We'll find out after the results. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone seems to be respecting the line so far. Nobody's cutting the line. But it's not like it went in traffic that sometimes you can get away with cutting the line. You know, when you're taking that exit in a freeway. You know what I'm talking about. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. <laughs> this is the most exciting thing I've done so far in the past month and a half. Usually, you know, it's when I go to the pharmacy. Oh man, oh man! The pharmacy, all those products. <laughs> Too bad they're closing at 9, 9, 9 p.m. now. It's like so early, you know. It's not like you're talking about a bar. <laughs> they do sell alcohol, so. Starting to get a bit lazy. <laughs> it's been over an hour. I'm tired. At least we're making it, like we already turned right. We're not on Sepulveda anymore. Yeah. This is all just to get to the parking lot. And then after that, God knows, we'll figure it out together. Am I getting a little too comfortable? Uh -huh. Since we're looking at my legs, <laughs> Here's a fun fact. This is a scar I have from my 18th birthday. I had to get three stitches. Let's just say I had too much fun. Here we go. Whoa. Our line is still going on over here. It seems like we're gonna turn right over there. 
before we actually make it to the end. I don't know when they're gonna give us the kits, but apparently this is where champions are made. So here they're picking up your test and then they put it over there. And I'm assuming it has like your name and contact information so that they don't mix everything together. It is right now 3.37 uh, p.m. So it's been about an hour and 25 minutes or so. We left our apartment two hours ago, so it's quite the process. Another day. This is where we're trying to go. Oh yay, we're gonna turn right again! Yay, another curve! <laughs> oh, that that's much longer than I expected. Absolutely. Quick update. It's 5 p.m. <laughs> We've been here for a while. This line has been taking even longer than the one on Sepulveda Avenue. Right. Laura hasn't had lunch. I would recommend going early in the day when there are less people from previous appointments. We're making it to the end. Okay. I think they're finally giving us the test. Oh my God. Nice answer, Andy. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Show us the test, Laura. Okay, so this is what it looks like. They're gonna have a fish, man. First thing I need you to both do is to cough five times. So you need to do it into your elbow. You want to infect each other. Open that bag and just tip all the contents out into your own lap. Oh, I can go? Okay. Brilliant, okay. This is the uncomfortable part. We need to get a sample to the back of your throat. So it's the back of your throat at the tongue, the back of your throat at the sides, the back of your throat at the top. You move it around, lost for 20 seconds. Something good in it? Yeah. This one? And drop it straight in head first. Like this? Yeah, drop it straight in, please. Put it in on nice and tight, give it a pretty good shape. And then put that. Yeah, that's it. Thank you so much. Oh my god, guys. Okay, so we're about to drop off the test. This is what we're delivering back. Laura's gonna open up the window and we just gotta drop it off. Let's put it in. Okay, we did it. That was it, no? <gasps> Laura, we did it! Ah! <laughs> Okay, we're leaving and they already closed the line for the day. Nobody else is testing. So we're officially exiting at 5 15 p.m. It's crazy that it took that long, but you know, just be aware that it might you might face the same thing. But you know, we did our part, that was quick. I just hope we did the exam right, man. It was so quick. It was so freaking quick. So guys, I'm finally home and <laughs> processing the whole thing that just happened. It seemed quite simple, but the guy gave the instructions so quickly, I felt like I couldn't really process what was going on, so that kind of bothered me. But he was really nice, you know, he was very sympathetic, he was wearing like all that protective gear on his face. It wasn't even just a mask, they were wearing like this plastic thing covering their face as well, so seems like a pretty safe process and then nobody's gonna get contaminated from this at all. I'm not sure when we're gonna get the results. I went online and it said that it can be from a few hours to an entire week. Try to go as early as possible so you avoid people who are from previous appointments. I really hope this video has been helpful for you guys. Let me know in the comments if you have gotten tested, what your experience has been like, or if you have any questions, maybe I'll try to answer them. I'm not an expert at all. I made this video more like to try to share what this experience is like. And remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It is with subscribers that I keep creating content. Contents. You can also ring the happy bell below so you get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy and I will see you guys next time.